Today, I'm going to be doing a product review of this Water Park Ultra Water Flosser. So, someone told me before to try this Water Pick Flosser. So, basically, it's hard for me to open my jaw because it's locked, like limited range of motion. <laughs> yeah, I know you see me. You like in the video. Click like and subscribe and join the crew. Today, I'm going to be doing a product review of this Water Park Ultra Water Flosser. So before we get into this video, if you're already subscribed, thank you guys for coming back to the channel and watching another episode of Jazzy TV. And for those of you who are new, why don't you leave a like after this video and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you guys actually liked it, you can subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you get alert every time I drop a video. Now, a little background for you guys, if you don't know, or those of you who do watch me, I suffer with TMJ, which I found out recently, and a couple months, not a couple months, it's been more than months, I found out that my jaw was dislocated. And actually, I think that's probably been even longer, because if you look back at some of my vlogs, you'll see my jaw is actually, like, it was swollen. And I think months to years, I had no idea. So it's been a long process of trying to get it fixed, and it's still not fixed now, but that's a whole other discussion. And I basically got this water pick flosser to kind of help me. So let me show you. So basically it's hard for me to open my jaw because it's locked like limited range of motion. So it's really hard for me to floss and things like that because it gets like really painful and then it kind of like locks up on me. So someone told me before to try this water pick flosser and that's what I got. And I've actually been using it for a little while now. And I think this thing works amazing. It's helped me out a lot already just from the flossing perspective. But I want to show you guys all the cool features on it because this thing does a whole lot. Okay, so first I just want to show you some things on it before I actually use it. Um, again, like I said, it's the Water Pick Ultra Flosser and it comes with a lot of tips. You can do different pressure settings and it holds a lot of water and of course warranty everybody likes. I got the black one because it matches my whole set and I believe there's different colors you guys can get too. I forgot also, if you guys do want to order this product, I am an affiliate at Amazon so you guys can check it out. I'll put a link down below for this one and probably a bunch of other ones they have because there's all kinds of different models and I think there's even one not just the floss or the pick. I believe it's a toothbrush if I'm not mistaken but I'll leave that down below so you guys can check that out. Okay, now back to the review. So it does a lot of stuff it removes plaque it helps your gums from the different um like the tips it has and it's good for all kinds of things like they have a mode for braces and like implants and things like that so here you can see it has a jet tip for regular flossing anything uh an actual toothbrush that you can use i don't use that that often because i use my own but it's kind of cool to use as well and this is actually helps for your plaque so you can use this on implants, crowns, bridges, retainers, and pretty much anything, general use. And then there's actually one that I don't use anymore for bra braces. I used to have braces. And then a pickpocket. This one's my favorite one that I actually use all the time. Okay, now you can actually see I have it here. I'm gonna, ooh, see this is why I closed my toilet. My toilet's sitting right over there. Imagine if I drop this in the toilet. I would be so mad. But anyways, um, it's not battery operated. It's a plug. Basically, it comes with this little tool here I'll show you this is how you kind of push the tip off you push this button here if you guys can see that and the tips come off they're interchangeable tips so it's really easy I'm just making it difficult when I'm trying to hold it to show you guys the demonstration so this is the actual I guess the pump if you want to say you fill this tank up with water and it comes off easily you can take the whole thing off so you can fill it with water and that's where it pumps into so you basically you get the idea now the cool thing let me set this down so you guys can see this case right here actually holds all of the tips inside them so trying not to spill it and drop it my hands are slippery now these are all the tips i was telling you about i only use this one the most and there's still water stuck in it but yeah this is the one that's actual toothbrush you can use this is the one that you use for plaque can you guys see that I use it a couple times for plaque and then they give you two of these um, I guess for general use because you will probably use that the most and you probably can actually share this with someone if they get their own tips as well so you won't have to buy a whole new water pick unless you just want your own but yeah this is the one I use the most so I'll show you guys a demonstration on this one okay I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this let me remove this one so you would put your device there wherever your cord is to put
Okay, so this is the tip here and this is the pump. All you're gonna do is just push it in and you heard it click, that's all you do. Next, I'm gonna fill this up with warm water. Guys, ignore the setting because you know my bathroom is really small. I'm just trying to get a good angle for you guys to see. Okay, I don't usually fill it up too much because I don't use that much of it and the water's gonna end up sitting here and kind of be bad, basically. The first use, they want you to prime it and basically to prime it, all you're gonna do is turn the pump on. And then these are your pressure settings. So I normally leave it on the lowest just to get it started. And then you push this up. Can you guys even see that? There you go, you can see that. Just to get all the warm water in so it's not gonna be like really cold in your teeth. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to use this. You have, let me turn this off for a sec. Okay, so you have to lean over the sink with your mouth open because the water is gonna spill out, I'm telling you now. So the first thing when you put it in your mouth and then turn it on will be easier because trust, this will, I forget when you first start using it, trust, it's like really weird. So I forget and you kind of like take it out to move it to a different side and the water kind of like squirts out if you're trying to spit or something like that. It sounds like dumb, like a, a dumb mistake or you know, like somebody would, like you would just know better basically. But as you're doing it, you don't realize it and you forget. So it, it took a minute for me to get used to it for a second, but they say start from the back and to the front. With this one, you should be able to start inside and then go up the gums and actually inside the gums. And I did notice this might have helped me a little bit because I'm a big coffee drinker and I noticed my teeth were getting stained again. I cleaned them up before I stopped drinking coffee and my teeth went back white again. I started back again and this is what happened. So I might try another water pick product. I don't know or we'll see. If you guys have another tip for that too, let me know. But let's go in and try this water pick. So let me turn it on. So machine on, then on. You can see I'm going through each individual like that. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, for the most part, this is really easy to use. It's just me having a hard time. Like I said, I can't maneuver my jaw a certain way. So when I keep trying to adjust it for the water, also, like I said, if you can't adjust your jaw, I forget, but I'm holding the camera at the same time. This little piece allows you to rotate. I don't know if you guys can see it, so you can get all kinds of different angles like that. So that's another good feature on this. And then again, like I said, you can use all the tips that it comes with. And then at the end, I just like to dump my water because I don't use it all and I don't want it to sit in there and be like nasty and moldy and stinky. So yeah, that's basically gonna wrap up this video of me testing out and showing you this product. One other thing, I am gonna give this a rating. I would give this a, I would say about eight, nine, nine out of 10. It's a really good product and really easy to use. The only thing I don't like is the water filter, how do you dump it? And then I, the only issue I have is, like I said, it's me and my jaw trying to open it. But this is, let me tell you, this is way easier than using the regular floss picks. Like you probably see I have back there. The, like, it's like a hook type thing. You know what I'm trying to say. It's way easier than that, I can say. But yeah, I think Waterpeck has an, like an awesome product. They're amazing. If you guys have any issues, you might want to, even if you don't have any issues, I would definitely recommend it as well for everyone. Because like I said, I believe they have the actual toothbrush you can use too. And I think that's really cool and really good because I believe it's probably going to squirt out the jet water as well as the spinning bristles and all that. So yeah, good stuff. But that's going to wrap up this video. You guys leave a comment if you have any other questions or something you think I should know. And what do you think about the product itself? Leave a comment, let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys and I always respond back to you guys. And you have that post notification bell turned on so you guys can catch me on the next video. That's gonna wrap it up and I'll catch you guys later. Big bags, my back ache through customs. You travel like you must be tough out of your luck, huh? I'm that go-to when she down to come through clutch, huh? Sit brown till I'm flush time. I drip, drip, real plush, huh?